Hi fam, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite girl, Lady A, and this is Authentic Skincare. Um, if you're passing by for the first time, God bless you for clicking on my video. And if you come back subscriber, God bless you for always keeping up with your girl. Thank you guys so much for always keeping up with your girl. I see you guys in my DM, patronizing me, showing me love, giving me reviews back to back. Thank you so, so, so much. And for those that come to my comment section to drop reviews after using a product, God bless you. You guys are the real MVP, okay? Season's greeting and um, we're about to enter a new year, okay? I pray, I pray for everyone that everything you touch will be fruitful, that as you step into this new year, everything you do will be gracious, everything you do would have the DNA of Jesus Christ in it, okay? Thank you guys so much for your love. This video, I'll be showing you guys how I make my mulatto whitening black soap. Yes, you can turn your black soap into your mulatto whitening black soap okay so in this video i'll be showing you guys how i make mine um i hope it will be helpful to you guys okay um so immediately after my exam like i wasn't liking my color most of the little breakouts you've seen is from my exam yes i had breakout i think it was a psychological thing because i i was still battling with my soul but i think it was just the psychological stress my i lost about three shades i'm getting my color back now but as i then i lost about three shades like i wasn't dark but i was definitely not as light light as i used to be okay so it was super annoying and yeah i had to redo like start off a new skincare routine okay and um this is one of the things i added to my um skincare routine um this is called the phyto booster or whitening it's anti-aging it's an anti-aging formula anti-pigmentation super glowing and anti-acne yeah of course i needed to treat my acne from inside out so yeah this is it i use this now basically it comes with a cup i was about taking this before the video and i was like okay i'll show you guys this is it so it comes with a cup it comes with a scoop in it, so you have to put one scoop and cold water. Yeah, it's written the water has to be cold. So I take this with my frozen. Um, I used to take it with vitamin C, but I'm out of vitamin C. I'll probably get another one tomorrow when I go to the market. Um, this is it. I take this with my frozen collagen. They both have very high content of collagen. Anything that has collagen, I'm a sucker for it. Because that's one very powerful anti-aging um, property. One very powerful anti-aging, um, should I call it ingredients? Yes. Okay, so this, if you're taking just this which of vitamin C, you're supposed to take two of this and um, one vitamin C, 1,000 mg of vitamin C. But I've not been taking two of this. I take just one. That's how I've been taking it. Of course, when my vitamin C is available, I'm going to be taking my vitamin C because vitamin C helps for the supplement to work better, penetration, vitamin C is an immune booster, um, booster, sorry, it helps boost your immune system, okay, so that's why you should always take vitamin C with any supplement, even if the supplement is written that it has vitamin C, still take your vitamin C, okay, so before we get right into the video, I want to thank all of you for your love, for 1k subscriber, thank you guys for subscribing to my channel, for supporting me, for showing up in my DM, patronizing me, buying recipes, buying raw materials thank you guys for your love and support i really really appreciate it okay get right into the video please subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you'll be updated each time i upload a new video like comment and always share my video thank you guys hi fam welcome to my workstation i'm super excited to be showing you guys how to make this um mulatto white in black soap okay so most of you don't know that you can actually turn your black soap into mulatto soaps. Now the concept behind this is just mixing other soaps into your black soap to add extra strength or to activate the black soap. Okay, so before further ado, let me start introducing you to my materials. I'll be using two wraps of um, my Ghana black soap. 
I'll be using two wrap of Aguna bars. I opened this soap. Um, trying to check the soaps at the market. I always check my black soap at the market to be sure I'm getting the original Ghana soap. So if you're buying from me, you'll rest assured that you're getting the original um, Ghana soap. Okay, so I'll be using two wraps of my Ghana soap. I'll be using um, my color ozone soap. I'm using my color ozone soap. I'm using my um, the pink and the yellow color ozone soap. This is the round balls. Um, when it comes to strength, um, I really don't know about the strength, but I know it's harder in it's more harder than the the square like balls but i know it's almost the same thing i don't think they changed anything in it so this is the color of also i'm adding one pink and one yellow and this is also the color zone carrot soap i'm adding one of this yeah this is the carrots it also comes in ball form in case you see it in ball form yes you can also make use of that one um i'm adding my white ball i'm adding um um, two of these that's about 10 balls. Yeah, I'm adding 10 balls to this recipe And of course I'm adding my green balls. I'm adding 10 10 balls of my green balls to this recipe I'm adding 10 of my brown balls um, My anti ratchet balls. Please the green balls is called the three days whitening balls It um, boosts your soap effects very good for clearing knuckles and hyperpigmentations on the hands and on the body so this is our anti ranches anti rashes balls um we'll be adding 10 of this um to this recipe so um we'll also be using our a bavaria um glutathion soap i told you guys about this soap in my flawless um, soap making video it's a it's a glowing soap. This soap glows the skin very well. I'm adding one of this. And yeah, this is my nano extra white soap. I'll be adding one of this to the soap. We are dealing with two wraps and um, the amount of um, soap we'll be using here. Banana soap, yes. The soaps we'll be using here because so we have our papaya and carrot soap, our glutathione soap, our carrot um, um, ozone soap. Our uh, yellow ozone soap, our pink ozone soap. Please take note, and at one point, I'll display all the soap base on the screen. Okay, um, so let's go grate this and come back. Okay, fam, so I'm done grating the soap. This is how it looks very um, colorful, very beautiful, and that's how normally our molasso, molasso soap is supposed to look like. Okay. So um, we're still going to be adding um, a cottage fresh to this soap, half uh, cottage fresh to this soap. But before that, we'll soak the soap. So normally I can um, use my shower gel to soak the soap and then put the ingredients on it and mix and just cover it for the next, till the next day. But I checked some of my ingredients, um, they are yet to arrive. Okay, so I'll just add in my shower gel. I'm using um, this one. It's kind of new in the market. Pure Egyptian magic whitening. Please, if you have the Gruta white, the one I used to make um, the flawless um, whitening soap, if you have that one, please go ahead to use it. Um, I, I make use of this one because this I have this one at home. That one I want to use it to do particular production. So I'm measuring out to 50 ml. Oh, remember my um cup has calibrations on it, so I'll just I just use the measurement on this. So I'll be adding to 50 ml of the shadow here. I might need to add more later, but um, I, ra I rather add it little by little than I rather add the shower gel little by little than find that find out later that I've overwatered my soap down. So this is it. It's not much, but um, 
this is not a sh I'm, I'm not trying to turn this mulatto soap into a shower gel it's going to be a paste soap lots of oils are coming in here our honey i don't even need to mix it i'll just cover it and um we'll continue tomorrow okay fam let's get um started so this is the cottage fresh i left the soap for like a night yes i've been super busy but i left it for a night and we're going to you know be done with this soap today so um i'll be adding just half of this soap i add the cottage fresh it is a treatment soap it's a very good soap your kids can use it like this i add the cottage fresh um to help it has this gummy beautiful gummy feel it gives so even if the soap still comes out very thick it's going to have this very gummy feel so i used um half of it yeah i use half of this cottage fresh this cottage fresh glows the skin super well it glows the skin so well and it also has treatment um, your kids can actually just use it like this as their glow soap you can add it with a bit of turmeric you know just and some essential oils and to be so beautiful on your kids so unlike before we're going to be putting our powders one by one i'll try to be very 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 fast so please do not expect me to explain anything um if you are not familiar with these powders please i beg you um google them know their benefits okay i can only mention a few so i'll be adding my turmeric powder this is my turmeric powder i'll be adding it um i'll be adding three tablespoons please use your normal 15 ml a tablespoon is supposed to be 15 ml i am working on my stuff i actually made a shelf in my house so moving my stuff from one place to another i didn't know where i kept my two tablespoons so i'm just making use of this one there are three tablespoons of turmeric this is my cinnamon powder okay i'll still display the names on the screen not to worry i'm adding two tablespoons of my cinnamon powder i'm adding my pineapple powder yeah my pineapple powder i'm adding three tablespoons of my pineapple powder you all know i love love pineapple powder that's the it's also called the bromelian powder super super good for skin brightening okay that's three tablespoons and it smells heavily like once you open up the smell okay i'm adding my oatmeal powder yeah I'm adding two tablespoons of my oatmeal powder. Like I'm going to have lots of this is going to be like a herbal mulatto soup because it's going to have lots of um, natural ingredients in it. So, okay, so this is my sandalwood sandalwood powder. I'm adding two tablespoons of my sandalwood powder. One, two. This is my um, rice powder. You all know I love rice powder and soap is super good. Add your rice powder to your soap, you scroll. It is super, super good. I'm going to add two tablespoons of my rice powder. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm adding my um, brown nico rice powder i'm adding two tablespoons brown nico rice powder is super good i always add it to my black so if you're looking for that brightening powder um to add to your soap to give you that natural um, toned skin brown nico rice is like your must a must have in your soap okay So I'm going to be adding my egg yolk powder. Um, these powders have not put them in a container. Mm -hmm. It's just um, the nylon I bought them. So I'll be adding um, two tablespoons of my egg yolk powder. It's a very good powder. It's a treatment powder, moisturizing, super good. Um, 
That's two tablespoons of my egg powder. And the last part I'll be adding is my mulberry powder. I always keep my mulberry powder like this sealed up because you know you know my mulberry powder when you know it solidifies when it comes um, in contact with um, air. Okay, so I was able to open it up. I'm going to add um, three tablespoons full. So I'm using my one fourth cup because my one fourth cup is kind of clean. Um, if I use my tablespoon, which I have here, uh -huh, you know more berry powder. Hmm. So I'm just using that three tablespoons. My fourth cup is about four tablespoons, so I'm not fooling it. So this is about three tablespoons of my mulberry powder. So when you have your mulberry powder, please seal it in a way that hmm. and make sure that you don't get too much. You don't buy it so much because once it starts to get spoiled, hmm, everything will just get bad. It just get so hard. You can't make use of it. So this is our Giga white powder. I'm going to be adding, I think I have two tablespoons in here, but I'm still going to do a measurement. One. Yeah, that's two tablespoons of my Giga white powder. I'm going to be adding, this is my Kojic acid powder. Going to be adding four tablespoons of my public acid powder. Okay, so I had this just about um kojic acid and kojic dip. That um kojic acid makes the skin red. Whoa, that's not true. That's so not true. Five tablespoons of my powder. So that's four tablespoons of my kojic acid powder. Let nobody tell you kojic acid made the skin red. Huh? Because as for me, I feel kojic dip is more... I don't know. I've used it. I don't use it in my black soap because the one time I used it, I really didn't like the result. In black soap, I'm not condemning the powder as a whole. But in black soap, for me, it's not my favorite. Okay, so this is our snow white powder. We added four tablespoons of snow white powder. So I had this class I went for and hmm, that's four tablespoons of my snow white powder. And the lady made ten wraps and on Nike, ten wraps of black soap. And she added one fourth cup of whitening powder to the black soap. I'm like how would that even do? You added 60 grams of whitening powders. Just 60 grams of one whitening to 10 wrap of black soap. That 60 grams is supposed to be in like two wraps of black soap. Like, I don't even understand. That is why I tell people not to get pressurized for people when you see um, other skin people making in large because they end up managing a lot of things. You see them making, I don't make more than seven wraps of black soap because it is so much money. You see them making, um, 20 15 wraps and because you see it in bulk you want to go and patronize them you know your own okay so to our oil phrase i'll be adding my whitening glycerin if you have normal glycerin please make use of that this is one fourth cup one fourth cup is about four tablespoons of my whitening glycerin this is going to help moisturize the skin and also um help with lightning okay so my favorite um, oil, this is my um, Egyptian oil. You guys know I sell this oil so well. This is my Egyptian oil, my fourth cup. I love Egyptian oil, it helps glow the skin. Yeah, it lightens, but uh, the strength of the glow is, is not. I'm just going to be taking two tablespoons of my vitamin C oil. This is my vitamin C oil. 
I also sell this like I sell naked oils if you need naked oils I have them um, this is one fourth cup so half cup is about 30 ml this is 60 ml look at it so half cup is about 30 ml which measures to my um, which measures to two tablespoons not to be confused I'll display whatever I'm writing on the screen okay so I'll be adding Ami clear this is um, a carrot I'm using this as my carrot extract I don't like to use pure um, carrot extra like carrot oil normal carrot oil when I'm making a lightning soap so I rather use um, a carrot oil that lightens not just the normal um, essential carrot oil so this is it I, I think this is also one fourth cup yes so I'm adding one fourth cup to this Okay, so this is my perfector and my citro clear. You all know I always add this to my black soap. I use the citro clear as my lemon extract. Lemon extract is very essential when you're making black soap. Um, and the perfector. Now, if you don't want to add the perfector, you can add um, the white now serum. Yes, white now has a particular serum. You can add half bottle of the white now serum to this recipe. But I'll be making use of my perfector in this recipe, okay? Okay, so this is two bottles of my perfecto in here. I'm adding it now. Okay, so I'm adding in my citro clear. This is one bottle of my citro clear. I'm going to be adding in the second one. Chai, my camera, my phone camera just went off. I have to manage to car the light from my ring light. Okay, so that's the last bottle of citro clear. Yeah, so I'm going to be adding my honey and giving this beautiful soap a very good mix. So for my honey, I'll be using one third cup, 85 ml. This is my raw honey, like raw, raw honey. I got this um, from the direct source. Yeah, if you guys want this in one liter, I have it for filtered and then um, unfiltered yes like unfiltered you still see the bees and the herbs in the honey and all so i used one third cup of honey honey is super good for the skin is an emollient and it helps um to moisturize the skin it helps to glue the skin it helps to treat the skin you know it helps with reaction make sure the skin is in good condition okay so i'll be giving this um a good uh, mix okay fam so i'm adding um glycolic acid a tablespoon for you that decide to add lactic acid to your blood soap I want you to know that the, it could actually prevent your soap from foaming. In fact, it does. It will. Doesn't doesn't even make sense. You can add your malic acid or your salicylic acid. Those are much better. So we are adjusting uh, my camera. Okay, so I'm going to give this soup a good, good mix. Yes, so I'm also going to be adding my um, palm wood, my foreign palm wood. I just remembered. I'm going to be adding my foreign time to this mixture to give it that color because um, I don't like my soap black black yeah there's nothing wrong with it but it's just a personal choice 
so if you can get foreign income with an ad that's super good i'm trying to be easy because of okay guys so um right now i'll be adding my this is my foreign camera this is how it comes so if you want to buy um i sell in five gram 10 gram 15 gram um this is this is my five um gram spoon or five ml spoon yes it's written on the spoon as five ml this is it it's enough to color up the entire soap yes so i'm going to use this enhanced color of this soap to make it very 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 beautiful if i need to add more after mixing i'll add more this is my tablespoon um this is my preservative so i'm adding a tablespoon of preservative this is um preservative is jama plus so i'll leave the name on the screen So this is why you see this glove never works after mixing for a while it broke i have to take out this one so i'll pound the soap and my hand will have no business in this soap yeah i'm just gonna pound the soap and that's it basically cool. here is strawberry here is banana so i'll be mixing my apple and my banana i like how it's smells in my soap yeah so this soap is really going to be mulatto you know black soap that went to harvard it's gonna smell nice and it's also going to feel you know clean it's not just you know you're not using the regular black soap this is special the smell and everything so a tablespoon of apple fragrance and a tablespoon of banana fragrance so good already after mixing if i need to add more add more please i add milk to my mulatto black soap if you want to add milk just make sure you add it to i'll add one tablespoon and i'll probably do that off camera goat milk please make sure you add little so that um it doesn't prevent your soap from it has a smooth feel it actually gives the soap okay so i'll be pounding do a lot of pounding if i'm tired i'll ask someone to help me in the house and yeah. So if you're watching my video to this point and you have not subscribed to my channel, please be cool and subscribe to my channel. It's totally free. Subscription is free. Hit that red subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so that you'll be updated each time I upload a new video. Can you see how beautiful the color is? See how it's changing? That's the pretty effect of foreign cam wood. And yeah, it takes a long time before the soap will get dark. Like when I mean a long time, it will take two, three months before it gets dark. It doesn't even get dark dark. It might look brownish, but it takes a long time. Okay fam, so this is the finishing of our um, mulatto whitening black soap. This is super, super effective. This uh, mulatto whitening black soap will clear your um hyperpigmentation it will treat your skin anything you use please give it time your skin might be stubborn but just exfoliate and be consistent with everything you use there is no magic in skincare it is just consistency so this product is amazing it is texture see it is to get thicker with time so i want to put it in the container now so i don't find it hard or difficult to um to package Thank you fam, so this is the finishing of the product, this is it packaged, if you want this a black soap, um, please DM me on WhatsApp, it's super nice, the little you're seeing there um, is probably the mixture of other soaps, which I think will dissolve the time, I love the texture, it's, it is so nice, see, in time it becomes so hard, super super hard, so um, this is the finishing of the soap, if you want this soap, it comes in different um, sizes. We have 300, we have 250, we have 400, we have, this is one liter, one liter of it. So if you want this uh, mulatto whitening soap, please um, DM me, pick up my WhatsApp and yes, yes, you want to really pick up my number and be on my WhatsApp and to be... You know, for me to save your number, you will have to have purchased something from me, okay? 
Okay, today I'll be giving this out to one of my um, WhatsApp um, contacts. Somebody's going to be winning this. I'll just drop the question and somebody will win this. Okay, so guys, um, thank you for watching my video and I'll see you guys in my next video.